going to mug me. I might get a mug you. Is that gorgeous or what, eh? And I believe I can run the Chief of Marathon. Download Veely now. Heidi and Mike are soon to be empty nesters and first time cottage buyers looking for more space to bring their family and friends together. Our kids are older now, they're off doing their own things. We're looking for a great cottage because it's like we got our social lives back. And everything's bigger in the country. Are you freaking kidding me? There is a walk-in closet? Oh, look at oh this. Oh my God, what? That's not real, is it? This is like a horror story. They have a budget and a wish list. Now it's time to find out what's for sale. Heidi and Mike love to host parties for family and friends. I actually used to be a wedding planner. That was my job, that was my life. And even though I'm not planning weddings anymore, I'm still always planning events. We're always having parties. We're very, very much about socializing yeah. and entertaining. Now that the couple's sons are growing up, they want a special place where the family can reconnect. We have two boys, Hayden and Michael. We also have two dogs. We're really looking for a cottage where we can use it all year round. Thanksgiving, Christmas, have New Year's, and we can have like big, huge celebrations at the cottage. We kind of differ when we're looking at properties. Mike is all about the structure and the roof, whereas I look at how pretty it looks. <laughs> Mike has a motorcycle, so we want to be able to store that. He wants a garage. They have a wish list this long. Their budget is $750,000. $750,000 is going to be a little bit challenging to find them that perfect place with their wish list. If Rob was the agent he says he is, then he will find the property that I want. So the first property I'm showing them is on Real Lake. It has lots of entertaining space, private waterfront, and a large detached garage. The asking price, $775,000. It's a little bit over their budget, but I think it's gonna check off all the boxes on their list. Let's go see the waterfront, wow. most important part. <laughs> Look at that, gorgeous sand beach entry. Okay, we don't like sand. Yeah, how, what, how can you not like sand? We just don't like it, it's messy. Most buyers would love to have waterfront with a sandy beach. We'll never go in the lake, but we wanna be on the lake. They don't like sand and they don't like water. We like to look at the lake. Look at the setting. Look how beautiful this is. When you think cottage, isn't this what you picture? Yeah. The view is beautiful. Mm -hmm. It is. And I think people would come up and want the view. Right. Do you like the house from here? I really do. Yeah. Is it not gorgeous? Yeah, it looks, it looks it's beautiful. beautiful. It has northwest exposure, 404 feet of frontage, so it is very, very private. It's got beautiful views, and the cottage looks like it's really, really well built. We've never owned a cottage before. This is extremely new to us. We've rented, we've visited yeah. friends' cottages. It's not like we don't go to cottages, we do. We've just never purchased one on our own. Welcome home. Okay, this is nice. Nice foyer. Yes. You like? I like. Awesome. Definitely like. I was a little shocked. It didn't have like, you know, kitschy cottage feeling. Like it looked like a house. Oh my God. Okay, look at how big this is. This is perfect entertaining space. Yeah, and a great view too. So you can always see the lake. Nice, yes. uh, nice ceiling height. I don't like the ceiling. Like, I'll be very honest, I don't like it at all. You don't like the dark wood? I don't I like the wood. I kind of like it. I like it too, Mike. Yeah. yeah. That would be the first thing I would do is paint the ceiling. But this space, like how big it is, like th this is great. Yeah. This is absolutely fantastic. And the kitchen is quite lovely. Have like, a look. Oh my gosh. Like this, this is Mike's thing. You're the cook? Yes. Mike is. Yes. You don't cook. I entertain. So yeah. while you cook, you entertain. Yes. Yes. Well, I like to cook. It's just relaxing. Relaxing instead of doing work around the cottage. I have to learn how to relax. <laughs> so come with me. More to see. Here, we have a great media room. With a view room. again, yeah. You know what would be great about this room is we could actually put pull out couch in here. Yeah. So like this could then become another Marsh bedroom. Base. Right, like yeah. if you have extra people up. I like the fact that there's windows all the way around, and again, you get the view, which is yeah, great. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Wow. Wow, this is nice. Yes, so this is the master. This is the master, okay. Every single room is 
massive. Like, this is blowing my mind. Compared to what, what we have at home, you know? Yes. Okay, is there an ensuite? Take a look. Are you freaking kidding me? There is a walk-in closet? Don't have that at home, do we? No. Okay, I am just living in here. <laughs> okay, we're buying this place right now. You know you got a city girl in cottage country when they see a walk-in closet and they're ready to put in an offer. I often have buyers from Toronto react like this. Wow. High on your list was... <gasps> the soaker tub! Oh my God. Okay, that's it. I'm just gonna live in the master bedroom. I have the walk-in closet and now I have the major soaker tub. I've never seen anyone get as excited as Heidi does about certain things. So I know I've won her over. Way to go, Rob. Holy purple. <laughs> Wow. Good sized bedrooms. Hayden and Michael would love this. The fact that they'd have like this whole this space whole out area. here, like yeah. amazing. I actually picture this differently. So okay. you're seeing them down here, mm -hmm. but I'm actually seeing them somewhere else. I'm seeing this as actually your guest, guest area. Guest area. Okay, why? Why do you say that? Because- You're gonna show us something else. I am gonna show you something else. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Oh my God, I totally forgot there's a whole other building here. Oh my goodness, and look, honey, a double car garage. Yeah. Great for storing your motorcycles. Wow, it's huge. <gasps> what? Wow. So this is where I see Michael and Hayden. Wow. This is like, we're giving them their own their apartment. Own. So we have a bedroom. Okay. And full bathroom. How's the ceiling? We would paint the ceiling. <laughs> we? You would paint the ceiling. Yeah. Oh, wow, look at this space. And it's split. That's yes. perfect. We'll put the bikes over on the other side. Perfect. I find it very interesting that we have seen exceptional rooms in the cottage, and my husband is excited over the garage. That might get excited. Come yeah, on. this is perfect. He likes this man space. Yeah. Whatever, it'll be his what? man cave. You know, you're gonna have me basically doing everything in this house. I need some place to basically work on stuff. It's just above our budget. And, you know, she's always going to have this list of things to do um, that we're gonna need money for. So I would prefer not to go over our max budget right off the bat. Um, I'd prefer to see something that's a little bit more reasonable and, you know, give us a little bit of money to play with. Mm -hmm. Heidi and Mike have a big wish list for their very first cottage. They want a property in one of the most elite, coveted, and pricey areas in all of cottage country. The first property I showed them is situated on prime waterfront with a highly sought after sand beach, which wasn't a hit with this couple. Okay, we don't like sand. Yeah, how, what, how can you not like sand? We just don't like it, it's messy. But they were won over with the large interior, space to sleep and entertain all of the friends and family they'd like to host, and luxury finishes. The next property I'm showing Heidi and Mike is a little bit different. So I'm hoping they can keep an open mind. I'm actually excited because now that I know that the water isn't that important to them, I have real high expectations of the second property. This property is fully furnished and move-in ready. The asking price, $749,000, right at Heidi and Mike's budget. After you. Oh. Wow. Are you kidding me? This is a cottage. This is insane. This is like a mansion. I never in my wildest dreams thought with our budget, we'd be looking at a property like this. I'm seriously, I feel speechless in here. It's like, I don't know where and to that look. that never happens. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go see the kitchen. Yes, okay. <laughs> wow, this is gorgeous. So you guys are all about entertaining and this is an entertainer's dream kitchen. Is it ever? I'm already planning every event from now <laughs> until eternity. It's absolutely spectacular. It's like someone went into my head and created our dream cottage. Yeah. So Mike, 
Isn't this where you're gonna be? Yep, most definitely. Look at Smoking that. Smoking your cigars. Exactly. This is the perfect cottage for Mike. You know, Mike likes to cook, so the kitchen's right there. The barbecue is right out on the deck. I can just see Mike using this space because everything's so close together. I don't need to see anything else. But where's the water? Where's the view? Oh my God, where's the water? So there's a little catch with this place. Okay. In your budget, this actually is not officially waterfront. It actually has what we call deeded access. Deeded access is waterfront that you co-own with five or six other cottages. I don't know if I like that. You just feel like you're putting me on a massive roller coaster ride right now. It's like, I was so up. I was like, up, up, up. And then I was like, and now the ride is over. <sighs> no rake. We aren't directly on the water. And I know you're disappointed by that. Very. But look at this fabulous space. <gasps> oh, nice. Oh, hot tub. I call this Lake of Heidi. I love the hot tub. I love to be in hot water. It's just missing one important factor, a lake that I can see outside the cottage windows. Oh, this is super pretty. Beautiful. Oh, nice. Your master. You know, we've got nice doors and it looks like a patio out there. There is a nice. patio. You can sit out there, have your morning coffee. And not look at a lake. Yeah. Does it at least have a soaker tub? Why don't you go look? <sighs> Oh, wow. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Beautiful master ensuite. Are you kidding me? There's no soaker tub. <laughs> oh. I knew she was gonna say that. I knew that. she was gonna say that too. I really want a soaker tub. But there's a hot tub. Why can't you soak in that? There's a difference between a hot tub and a soaker tub. Well, you know what? Let's walk through this house because I bet you I can find you a soaker tub. <laughs> Oh my god. There's a soaker tub somewhere. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh yeah, this is a this is a nice spot. Ew. Does the pool table come with the place? I will get you the pool table. So you have your rec room, you have your media center, you've got a wood burning stove. Wow. Walk out right there to your yeah. own peaceful, tranquil forest. Wow. Who needs water when you have your own forest? There are also bedrooms down here for the boys and space for them to hang out. <gasps> the soaker the tub! The soaker tub! I wouldn't show you a place without a soaker tub. Okay, but see, here is my thinking now. The soaker tub is down in what is now classified the boys' area. Ooh, so they're down that's here creepy, with yeah. all of their friends. And mom's <laughs> soaking <laughs> in the tub. <laughs> <laughs> kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, I can see the weirdness in that. Yeah. yeah. Are you kidding me? That is never happening. Yeah. They're playing their video games and their mom is taking a bath. Come on. You want to go see the water? I want to go see the it's water. It's a very, very short drive or walk. It's raining a little bit, so I think we will drive. Okay. But you'll see that it's just right there. Okay, maybe not right there. Oh. What a beautiful view. It is, I'll give you that. Like the view is absolutely gorgeous. There are no street lamps here. So now I'm walking down here in pitch blackness after a few cocktails to the water. I think what the problem is, is Heidi is really torn. She absolutely loves this house. She just can't accept the fact that it doesn't have its own waterfront. So now that they've seen these two properties, I kind of think I need to go and regroup and really consider what I'm gonna show them next. Soon to be empty nesters, Mike and Heidi are on the hunt for their very first cottage. They were impressed by the first property I showed them. You like? I like. Awesome. Definitely like. Even though the sandy beach wasn't a hit. We don't like sand. Yeah. How, what, how can you not like sand? We just don't like it, it's messy. The second property I showed them was beautiful, but was missing a key element. A lake that I can see outside the cottage windows. I've got one last chance to get it right with this third property. I'm gonna take a new strategy with Heidi and Mike, and I'm actually gonna show them a place that I know they're absolutely gonna love. This property on Kushog Lake comes with two cottages and gorgeous waterfront. 
the list price is well under their budget at $649,000. I want to say that I'm optimistic because I really feel like Rob is learning exactly who we are because yesterday he beyond crushed my dreams without a lake. Crushed them. No, they were crushed. Oh my gosh, Rob, this yeah. is This is what this we want. You're amazing. Looking for. Oh yeah. my gosh, okay. All of this is perfect. 250 feet of frontage. Wow. With flat, level, easy access. And look at that huge dock for entertaining. Yeah. No beach either, which oh is good. My gosh. No sand. Okay, Rob, this is gorgeous. Yeah, I agree. I gorgeous. Agree. Great. There's no beach. Um, there is a dock for a boat, and we've got the social space that we absolutely want. Definitely love the lakefront. It's exactly what we're looking for. Okay, this is great. I want to see inside. Good. There's lots of places to see because this place actually has two cottages. Oh. Excited? Are they two spectacular cottages, though? Let's go see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, wow. Nice. It's different from what we've seen, that's for sure. It's a lot of wood. So it's, this <gasps> is a classic cottage. Right. So what you've seen over the past day has been, you know, much more grandiose type of homes. Mm -hmm. Yes. You yes. know, to be on a lake like this and to have the waterfront that you have, you're probably going to be looking at much more cottagey type of property. Right. It is quaint, yes. like I will give it that. It's still bigger than our house in Toronto, so I like that, but I just don't like the wood. So let's go have a look at the rest yep. of this main floor. How perfect is this space for entertaining? Okay, this room is huge. Yep, and it has our fireplace, which we want. Nice yeah. granite stone fireplace. Yep. Oh my gosh. Okay, I love this. Yeah. It's massive. Good. Go have a look at the okay. um, front room. Oh, look at that. Are you freaking kidding me? There is a deer head. Look. Oh, look at oh this. Oh my God, what? That's not real, is it? I am telling you right now. Dead animals on the wall? Taxidermy? Are you kidding me? This freaking wood on wood on wood everywhere is like but giving I, me a headache. Yeah, this is, this is work for me, but you know what? It, it's fine. But it's a cottage, right? Like, you do have a good mix between wood and then here it's drywall. Yeah, it's all drywall. You know, so it's got a good blend. There's, that's actually one room I won't have to do anything with. You need to get your head out of the urban area, like your urban home, and bring it up to cottage country. Yeah. This is like a horror story. This is not a horror story. <laughs> it no, it story. is not. This is a cottage. Okay, but the animals are not coming with this, right? You don't Whoa. like them? <gasps> so let's go look at the rest of the place and see what it has to give offer because there's a, a chance. lot to look at. You would have to change this room. Yeah. You would have yeah. to change it immediately. A lot of to course, look at. Immediately. of course. A lot to look at. <laughs> Heidi and Mike will definitely have to put work into this place to make it what they want, including the master, which doesn't have an ensuite or a soaker tub, but at least it does have a hot tub. The payoff is the second building and amazing waterfront. So look, it's a whole other cottage. Oh, there's I thought this was just the garage. No, there's a garage there for Mike's bike. Perfect. Okay. Great for storage. Right. And welcome to cottage number two. Oh, look. What a perfect blend of modern, urban oh with God, cottage. This is so cute. Boy, look at yeah. there's a walkout. You can see the water. You're right on like top of the water. It's a whole other kitchen. Like it really is its, it's own a full cottage. Functioning second cottage. This cottage pretty much has everything on their wish list, except for the one thing is it does need some cosmetic work. This cottage is actually significantly under their budget. So it's gonna be very interesting to see if they bite. Heidi and Mike are searching for their dream cottage to entertain family and guests. They've seen three properties now and have a lot to consider. But they've learned about the cottage market along the way. Now, all they have to do is make a decision. Let's go over the properties that we saw. So okay. let's start with Real Lake, 775000 Right. So it was slightly over your budget. Yep, slightly over, yep. You had the garage with the loft above. Exactly. Yeah, yeah beautiful waterfront. 
Okay, well, I loved the lake view. Yep. I loved the fact that it was pretty much turnkey. Yes, there wasn't yes. a lot to do. Wasn't a lot to do. Loved the loft area. Either guests or the boys could use that area. That's fantastic. Ooh, Had the garage. The garage, garage. Was, the garage was the best by far. So property two, Lake of Bay's deeded access. Okay, I love that house. Yes. But you crushed my dreams with no lake. Yes. So it was 749000 so it's right on your budget. Right. And you just couldn't see yourself doing that walk. No, like it's, it's like I, I just, every time I think about it, it upsets me. The, the house was everything that we, that we wanted. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. But. Deeded no. access wasn't doing it. No. So I think we can eliminate that one right away. I'm never going to be happy there. Which yeah. brings me now to the third one, Cushog Lake. You know, two cottages, mm -hmm. 250 feet of frontage, beautiful lot, easy access to the water. Needed a lot of updates. Like, the wood alone. In all honesty, it's a cottage, and we can live with it. It's not something that absolutely has to be fixed day one when we move into that place. It would absolutely have to be fixed on day one. Like, I would not be able to relax. It's like that tree threw up in there. The yes. important thing is it, it was significantly below your budget of 750. Yes. So the asking price for this cottage is 649,000. Right. So that actually gives you quite a lot of space to make those improvements. Even though it is $100,000 below our budget, like, you're gonna blow through that money so fast. Are you still considering the real lake property? Is that still on your list? Because all you seem to be talking about now is Kashog. I'm definitely leaning towards Kashog. I really like Kashog Lake. I really do. Once we put our stamp on it with everything that I want done, it felt like it could be A Heidi home. and Mike original. A Heidi and Mike original. I would say Kashog is the one. Great. But I can really see us turning this into something amazing. Well, you know, it's your decision to make. I can already see myself there. Music to my ears. This cottage needs a bunch of work, but the lot is absolutely perfect. It's all about the waterfront. At the end of the day, they cannot change that waterfront, but they can make improvements to the cottage. And Mike and Heidi are very eager to meet new cottage friends and invite them over. Can I join your biker gang? Yeah, you guys can all come to the cottage. <laughs>